We're going to start off by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor them to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the brethren doing this work in truth and sincerity. All right, and um, real quick, man, we're just going to go to an open forum, man. All right, whatever was on Brother Spirit. All right, uh, they're going to bring it out, okay? And real quick, man, I want to say this, bro. Mm. These prophecies are speeding up, man, okay? Oh, but you see what's going on between the U.S. and the U.N., bro? That's biblical prophecy, man, okay? The Ten Horns is developing a deep hatred for the whore, man, all right? Because the whore, all right, which is America, okay, which is Babylon the Great, is being so-called a rebellious, man, all right? And talking noise, telling them what they're going to do to them, all right, of being bullies, talking about they're going to take money from them. That's going to hurt their economy, man. Because the U.N. and the U.S. all tied together, man. Okay, their whole beast system tied together, man. But see, now they're coming against each other because it's, it's, it's a prophecy, man. So I just want to say that real quick, man. All right, uh, keep your eyes focused out on that, you know, situation, man. Because what's going on over there in the Middle East is biblical prophecy, man. All right, these different nations gearing up for war. This is beautiful, man. Okay, different moves being made. All right, everything, uh, you know, you know, uh, going digital. All right, all right, uh, with, with the uh, uh, money. Okay, uh, the medical system going digital. Everything going digital, man. Okay, get ready for the blockchain system, man. This is all biblical uh, prophecy. So, brother, got you know, please sir. Yeah. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse one. To every day there is a, a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Um, jump down to verse 8. A time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. You know, and this is the times that we're here now, man. It's the time of war, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all being orchestrated by the Heavenly Father, man. Putting this spirit of war in these other nations, man. To rise up against Babylon, man. All right? To rise up against uh, Edom, man. Esau, man. You know? Yep, gonna please start real quick. This is uh, uh, Zephaniah. All right? Uh, mm. Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 8, it says... Therefore, wait ye upon me, say Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with, uh, with the fire of my jealousy. So this is the will of the Heavenly Father, man, okay? is to gather all the armies of the earth and bring them down, man, all right, to the valley of Jehoshaphat so that he can judge them, man, all right, for the controversy of Israel, man, all right, for touching the Israelites. This is why the world is going to be jacked up, man, because everybody despises the most high people, man, and he's going to show the world that we are his people by judging them and putting them to death, man, okay? Uh, Everything you see going on in the news, all right, all these nations, man, this is the most high will, bro. And and he's putting it in their spirit to get ready for war, man. Okay, 2018 should be a lovely year, man. Okay? Right. Which, lovely, not talking about it's going to be all prosperous and good in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, what the, a uh, goddamn patient going to win the Super Bowl. I ain't talking about that. No, my Lord, I'm talking about lovely as in death and destruction and more prophecies, man. Right. That, that's what I'm talking about. Right. Come on, bro. The kingdom of heaven drawing now. That's lovely. To the, to the men to understand what's going on. And I got uh, two points to make. Because the brother was like, uh, the ten horns going to hate the whore, man. Which is, uh, the whore is America. You see, UN going against uh, Trump decision. And they uh, not seeing out of eye right now. Like the brother said, this is prophecy. Okay? And uh, I got... Obadiah. Mm. This Obadiah chapter uh well chapter one verse seven. 
all right? So it reads, all men, and this is talking about Esau, all right? In Obadiah, this is prophecy concerning Esau. So it says, all men of thy confederacy have brought thee to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee, all right? And you, um, confederacy, all the men that you mm. make pacts with, agreements with, and alliances with, they're going to come against you, man, all right? And uh, that's what you see with the UN. Eventually, the UN is going to shoot missiles at uh, America, man. All right, and also these other nations. That's what's going to happen. That's the future of America. All right, and it reads, uh, the men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is no uh, understanding in him. Like these people seem to be at peace with America. They are uh, getting rich off the delicacies of America. And because uh, America is a consuming nation. But really, uh, you win. It's making deals with um, America's adversaries. All right. So this is what's going on right now. It's going to be a big uh, controversy between the UN and America, man. Mm. And also these uh, other, like, uh, what was that, North Korea? North Korea gonna turn on you, man. All right, and everybody's gonna come against Babylon. You wouldn't notice that if you look into the world, cause all these Americans are asleep, man. They got the Christmas spirit going on. And everybody's shopping for gifts and going to these shopping malls. Everybody happy and shit. But war is going on, man. The Most High is preparing these nations in the Valley of Decision, man. Like the brother said, they're gonna come together, and the Most High gonna judge these uh, nations. For what they have done, man, for their wickedness and coming against his um for the coming against the Israelites, his um his chosen, his children, man. Come on, brother. Uh, uh, real quick, brother, read that part where it says uh, they did matter of fact, uh, read the part uh, where it says uh, uh the men uh, the men that were at peace with be. God. And it says uh verse seven. I just started to talk. Come. All the men of that confederacy have brought thee to the border. Right, and we know that America is a part of NATO, and also that America have other, you know, pacts and agreements with countries, all right, that are so-called allies with them, but they're going to bring America to war, man. All right, they're going to they're gonna destroy this country, man. Okay, mm. even other Edomites are going to destroy America, man. Because the NATO is ran by Edomites. All right, keep reading, brother. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived you. Yeah, man, the men that you have a peace agreement with, okay, uh, Saudi Arabia, okay, the NATO and the EU, all right, Japan, uh, South Korea, all these nations that you are so-called at peace with, they deceiving you, man, Okay. They plotting against you because you the hammer of the earth, man. All right, all right. Are you the one that is bullying everybody? Okay, like the goddamn high school principals that's going around, all right, uh, suspending everybody. Okay, peddling everybody. All right, sanctions. Yeah, uh, sanctions, everything, man. So they plotting to get you, man. All right, and that's the will of the heavenly Father. All right, keep reading, brother. They that eat thy bread have laid a womb under thee. Yeah. They that eat that bread, meaning uh, the country that get aid from you, man. Mm. All right, support from you. Okay, weapons, but really your, really your uh, so-called uh, money, man. All right, the money and the military aid, man. Those nations, all right. It says they that eat that bread have laid a wound under thee, and there is none understanding in him, meaning that you can't even see it, man. All right, you ain't know what's going on, man. But they get ready to. To take you down, man. All right, Chris Brown style. They're gonna take you down, man, and destroy you, man. All right, as the bird are gonna get inside of Revelation 17, man. They're gonna destroy this whore, man. Why? Because it's the will of the heavenly Father, man. You Edomites are done, man. Okay. Uh, as of right now, Christianity falling. All right. All these pedophiles getting revealed. Y'all losing, man. Okay, uh, uh, your, uh, uh, what it was, what, who that was, your, uh, kids, man. All right, strung out on goddamn mm. opioids, man. Yep. All bugged out, man. Okay, but the brother gonna get the prophecy real quick, man. 
God, it's Revelations uh, chapter 17 and verse 12. Oh, 16. Okay. What verse is it? 16. You start at uh, 16 and get ready to the point. God, what verse is that? 16. Oh, okay. Go to verse 16. Yeah. Okay. God. It says, uh, Revelation 17 and 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. And the ten horns that thou saw upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. All right, now who are those ten horns? Belgium, France, Denmark, Italy, Luxembourg, or the Netherlands, Greece, Spain, Ireland, and West Germany. Those are the ten horns, man. And Portugal came out of um, uh, Spain, man. All right? But the, those ten horns that I named, uh, they're going to hate the horn, man. But now those ten horn has expanded to like, I don't know how many nations there is now, man. All right? All right? Uh, this is a part of the uh, NATO and EU, man. Okay? All of them go together, man. But they're going to hate the horn, man. The horn is talking about America, not the Vatican, man. All right? It's talking about America, man. It said, these shall hate the whore. Okay, because America's going to do something stupid. All right, as like right now, they making stupid decisions, man. But they're going to do something terribly wrong. They're going to piss them people off, man. Okay, them eat them by itself, and they're going to destroy this whore, man. Okay, keep reading, brother. God, and it, it reads... These shall hate the Lord and right. shall make her desolate and naked. And shall make her de desolate and naked. Can you read? And shall eat mm. her flesh and burn her with fire. And shall eat her flesh and burn her and burn her with fire, man. Okay, this fire is talking about nuclear fire, man. But why? Right? Can you read, brother? For the Most High have put in their hearts to fulfill His will. The Most High made them do that, man. He's orchestrating this thing, man. To make them do his will. That's why America going to be destroyed, man. To do the will of the Heavenly Father. This is what you people don't understand, man. All right? You think God is some a uh, rooted poop God, man. Y'all going to learn who your how is, man. Real fucking soon, man. All right, keep reading, brother. God. And and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast. Right. Unto the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. Unto the words of the Heavenly Father shall be fulfilled. Keep reading. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city. Keep reading. Which reigned over the kings of the earth. Which reigned over the kings of the earth. That's not talking about the Vatican Church, man. The Vatican Church is not reigning over the kings of the earth, man. It's talking mm -hmm. about America. It's clear, man. It's clear that America is the top dog on the planet Earth, man. Okay? They do as they please, man. But a time is going to come, but they're going to be brought low, man. According to biblical prophecy, man. You, you people out there talking about that madness, man. Look, bro, the Heavenly Father has disregarded you, bro. And he gave you up to them demons, man. So, brother, got, you know what I got, son? I, I got some. Come and going into what you said about basically the uh, America's allies going to turn on them. This is uh, Psalms 55, verse 20. He had put forth his hands against such as, as be at peace with him. He had broken his covenant. Right. Yeah, so, you know, when um, when they came over here to, to North America, you know, the Native Americans thought, thought you was an ally. But you broke every treaty with them. And that's going to come back on you. Yeah. Cause the scriptures say, "What's up, man? So it that's how he reap." So you put your hands on the Native Americans, so your allies are gonna put their hands on you by the way of their nuclear missiles. Yep. Yeah. You you gonna break the covenant, man? Right? Or you break covenants, man? Okay. Talking about uh, we're gonna keep all out. What Donald Trump say? He said. Uh, he said. He said. Uh, that's okay. They vote against us. He was like. He was like. Uh, more money for us. Uh, we don't care. But. I read it again, brother. This is Psalms 55, verse 20. Right. He had put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. Yeah, man. These, these nations are, are at peace with Esau, but he's still against them, man, because they don't want to do what he say. So he get pissed off, man. 
and say that he's going to retaliate. But you can't do that to him, man. Then he'll call you a terrorist, man. But see, we're dealing with the devil, bro. He, he the goddamn devil, man. This is why he's going to be destroyed. All right, so brother got something? Okay. Right. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 9. For lo, I will, I will mm. raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. And they shall set themselves arrayed against her. And that's no country is talking about over there in the land of Gog and Magog, man. Russia, man. And its allies. The allies of Russia is going to come against Babylon, man. All right? It's going to come a, a point in time where the news is going to be super hot, man. Where people in these nations, man, going to be against Babylon. And regular Joe Smoe's going to know it, man. And they're going to be terrified. All right? And they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence shall be, uh, thence, thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. And those arrows talking about uh, nuclear missiles, man. They won't return in vain, meaning they will hit their target, man. Mm. All right. Not, your third missile defense system ain't gonna work. All right. All right. Uh, verse 10 And uh, Chaldea shall be a spar And all that spar her Shall be satisfied Said Yahweh man And these nations gonna be glad that you took it out of power man Cause you are immoral Sick creature man Alright you go and against the Heavenly Father's law statutes and commandments Totally At least the Arab got a little bit of uh, moral standards Alright But you go against that man They're tired of you but right now they're dealing with you because they get their uh, uh, weaponry yeah. and they get uh, they get rich off of you, man. But it's going to become a time you're going to go too far like you're doing right now, man. You're going too far and they're going to get tired of it. You're going too far. And, uh, verse 11, it says, Because you were glad, because re you because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyer of my, my heritage, because ye are grown fat as the health of grass, and bellows as bulls. And you shouldn't have touched the Lord's people, man. You still put your hand on them and got them in captivity. The Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. That's why you messed up, man. Everybody sleep on uh, you coming over here in 1492, selling the ocean blue and destroying the, uh, mm. the Gadites. Oh, right. Because when we, you know, we was, uh, we was somewhere, me and the brother... Uh, we was in some place, and they, they start talking to us and stuff. And, you know, these heathen, they talk about Esau as if he's something new. You know, like like G, like Esau just became the fucking devil, you yeah, know? Right, right. Here it is, he didn't put us in captivity for for 300 some years, you know, Shit. and did a genocide. Well, longer than that, you know, he had Greece and Rome. But then he, he did a genocide against the Native Americans, and now y'all over there bitching in the Middle East, man. You know? Right, right. It's fucking hypocrites. Right, because we was in uh, the car dealership, and we were talking to some uh, Ishmaelites. And the Ishmaelites was upset because Esau over there trying to take over their land. Well, it's not their land, but they're trying to take the portion that was given to them. Right. Now, they upset, and they saying that America is sick, they're the devil. we like, well, chill, look at the Native Americans. Yeah. They've been doing this, right. man. But see, Esau ain't the devil until he messed with you, right? Right. right. As long as he don't mess with you, then he it's cool. Oh yeah, oh yeah, shit, fuck them niggas. Yeah. They 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 ain't nothing niggas anyway. But as soon as he go bomb, goddamn, what's his name? Abdullah Abi, <laughs> then it's a problem. It's a fucking problem. You damn, you damn Israelites, y'all gonna get it, man. Right. Y'all gonna get right. it, man, because y'all had a part in our downfall as well, man. Right. Okay, a cash straight man. Yep. Okay, a selling out women, doing all manner of wickedness, man. Y'all gonna get it, man. You damn camel eating heaters, man. Right. Goddamn Allah, man. That nigga gonna be nowhere to be found no once Israel get established, man. Right. And look, I dare you to call on Allah once we establish as a people, man. Shit, look, it might be four Ishmael like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm joking, man, but y'all gonna get it, bro. Yeah. Damn heaters, man. I had an uh, article on the, the whole hold situation. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I brought a hand Yeah. This is uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war 
Wake up the mighty men. Mm. Let all the men of war draw near. Mm. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spirits. Let the weak say, I am strong. And that's these uh, other nations, man. They uh, becoming strong because they they now have a uh, nuclear capability, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, verse 11. Assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about. Thy uh, thither because thy mighty ones caused thy mighty ones to come down on your house. Yep. Call that mighty one to come down. Talk about the angels, man. Those are the mighty ones, right? He says, he says uh, inside Isaiah 13, even them that rejoice in my highness, man. Okay, talking about the angels. They're going to come back in the midst of World War III, man, and shake you people's minds up, mm -hmm. bro. Everybody's going to be terrified because lately, bro, you know what I'm saying? The, uh, the uh, matter of fact, on the news, been talking about the chariots, man. You know, everybody all. You know what I'm saying? And and all over the chariots. Those look, bro, those so-called UFOs been around for a long time, bro. They've been here, bro. Right. Those are the vehicles of the heavens, man. Alright, those are the chariots of Israel, man. And guess what? They look, they not coming to be your friend, you saw. Okay? Coming in peace. Yeah. Coming in peace. All right, Will Smith not gonna take down a UFO, man. That shit out the window, bro. A bunch of angels. <laughs> These chairs come to do straight damage, man. All right, straight damage, man. You people bugged out, man. Look, bro, the Lord coming back on the chariot, man. Yeah. All right, what you call a UFO? Yep. Uh, and it's it's the spirit. That in the last days, with all these prophecies popping out, that Christianity will be the uh, the philosophy that's taking the uh, most hell right now through the spirit. It's getting broke down through the spirit, and Esau is um, getting his back turned on by his allies, man, according to prophecy. So all of this stuff is coming coming together mm -hmm. on the Most High Will according to prophecy, man, because the. Uh, the Roman Catholic Church and the Christian doctrine got the whole world confused, man. Those uh, Arabs that we went to uh, talk to and get the car from, they were Christians, man. What are Arabs doing when being a Christian, man? Christians took over and destroyed their country, man, and their way of their way of being, all right? So through the spirit, Christianity is going down, Esau going down, and he going to the uh, the Valley of Jehoshaphat where all these nations going to come uh, against them and destroy them, man. All right, so it's all through the spirit, the most high working on these uh, different rulers' minds, and he having them to uh, go through little controversies and disputes to go into the uh, the Middle East for that final uh, judgment, man. The yep. the uh, battle of Armageddon in the scriptures. All right. Yep. And Islam is the daughter of the Catholic Church. Yep, the Roman Catholic Church. That's good. If you're a Muslim, mm. you're a Christian, man. Right. All right. I, I, look, I don't give a damn what you say. You're a Christian. It, it came out of the Catholic Church, but a touch back on these chariots, man. Uh, real quick, real quick, Revelation 1 and 7. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so. Amen. The Lord coming back with the chariots of heavens, man. All right? To blot out the heavens. Okay, to blot out the sun. To bring destruction and salvation, man. All right? I'm telling you, bro. You people going to be so shook, man. All right, shit. We going to be shook. Okay? But oh, we going to have that understanding as well, man. But you won't have no understanding, man. Okay? I remember that video came out of that Jake, man. We saw that chariot. He said the aliens are coming. Yeah. The, the aliens. Somebody call somebody. Yeah, he, no, he said call the police. Think about calling. Call the police. Think about calling <laughs> Esau for the chariots, man. But see, that Jake, man. <laughs> that Jake, man. Simple as hell, man. It, it, it's aliens. He was bugged. <laughs> he, he was bugged out, man. Right. Okay, so imagine that man when this time come, man. He probably just died on the spot, man. All right. All right, calling for some aliens, man. No, bro. Those are the chariots of Israel, man. All right, coming to bring destruction and salvation to the planet Earth, man. 
Okay, chariot size will be more and more, man. Right. More and more, man. All right? Look, it's going to be evident that something is out there besides of us, man. And Esau know that shit. Yeah, but yeah. But he, he, he tell the people that it's aliens and put it in that movie so yeah. they can get programmed. Or, or, or he'll say, oh, uh, okay, uh, that's a weather balloon. Or some crazy oh, shit like this. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, this is sounding like that film in the sky. <laughs> no, bro. Stop it, bro. Look, bro, people been talking about the chariots for thousands of years, man. All cultures. Right. All right. cultures been talking about the chariots, man. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, like, each culture got their own little breakdown, you know what I'm saying, of the chariots and how the goddamn goop came out of the sky and made yeah. in China. All that, man. Mm. No, bro. Those are the chariots of the Israelites, man. Okay, bro, you got some? I got some. Yeah, because in Revelation, they say that uh, Yahweh Shah is coming with, with clouds. It's not talking about actual clouds. As you see in the sky, it's talking about the chariots of Israel. This is Psalms 104, verse 3. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariots. So, mm -hmm. yes, yeah, it's talking about the so-called UFOs. Well, we know what they are. You don't. But it's talking about the chariots of Israel. Yep. Yep, that's right. Who made the clouds his chariots, man. Okay, our brother got something? Yeah, man, so this uh, Revelation chapter 12 and verse 7, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels. Because, you know, them chariots going to come, and they're going to be wreaking devastation, man. And these, these weak-ass raptors and these, uh, mm -hmm. these, other, these other little Russian jets and shit, man, they're going to be getting chewed up by them chariots, man, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, 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 all the missiles y'all got, that shit ain't gonna work against the chariots, man. Y'all gonna have to go through the, through the, uh, the, what they call it, like in the movies, they got the little, the little, uh, the shield over it, you yeah, know. The force field. Yeah, the force field. You know, ain't gonna be no, no cold to get through the force field, man. You know, it's just gonna, y'all just gonna be put to death, yeah. you know. Straight slaughter. Yeah. Remember you got something? Yeah. Isaiah 66 and 15. Come. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. And with his chariots, like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. You know, so Yahweh Shah coming back with the chariots, blazing down that uh, concentrated nuclear fire, man. You know? Yep. All right. There's nothing you can do about it. Esau always have these plots in these movies, and mm. the movie, he find a way to uh, <laughs> penetrate the uh, chariots. Right. Yeah. You're going to lose, man. The scripture in Israel said they were scared, but they did, did fight. All right? So you're going to fight against the Heavenly Father, but you're going to lose terribly, man. God, all right? That's uh, the most our bad, man. Because he's going to have you them devils uh, actually believing that you can take on the chariots, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to lose, man. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? You're going to lose terribly. Right, because on Independence Day... Part two, you had a chariot the size of the whole fucking half of the earth came and landed on earth, and somehow, some way, yeah. Esau and you heathen got rid of the, the got rid of the chariot, bro. Yeah, you know, Esau, you you a fucking liar, man. You know that shit ain't gonna happen, but you got to get these lower level idiots to believe that shit, man. So they fight against you. How about Shah, man? Yeah, you know. And and look, bro, Esau. The only how you win is in your movies. Right. That's it. That's it, bro. That's your only hope mm -hmm. is your movies. All right. All the futuristic movies and and got them and got them up. Three thousand AD. He's still in power. Yeah. He's still in rulership. He's still he's still uh, calling the shots and all that, man. You only have hope in your movies, man. Outside of that, you're gonna lose, man. Okay. The Bible foretells of you losing. Okay? That's it, bro. You're going to lose, man. So real quick, I got to preach something real quick, okay? Because y'all got to get ready to meet your house shot, man. All right? He's not playing with you devils. This is Jeremiah 49 and verse 22. It says, Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Basra. And at that day shall the heart of the mighty man of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pain. So once the Lord come with them chariots, these Edomites are going to mm. tremble, man. 
Okay, they're gonna melt inside. I'm like, what the hell? Oh my gosh. Alright, because, because the Lord Yahweh said, I'm coming back with power and great glory, man. And look, he coming to Basra, man. Okay? This is a prophecy, man. Uh, you can precept this up with Isaiah 63, man. He's coming to Basra, man. All right, to eat him. To destroy it, man. This is how we know that you so-called white people are the Edomites, man. This is how we know that you're running Babylon. All right? Because once Babylon is destroyed, the kingdom of heaven is going to be set up. Right. And you Christians, y'all agree that these are the last days. Where the Bible said, according to the last days, Babylon the Great is going to be ruling. And the Edomites are going to be running Babylon the Great. So that's prophecy, man. All right? Come on, brother. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 7. Come on. The lion has come up from his thicket, and the lion is Yahweh Shah. And the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. Mm. He has gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate, and thy city shall be laid waste without inhabitants. No. Yeah. He's coming to destroy, man. All right. America, man. God, I got somebody. Right. Uh, the Christian church got that one song that say, "Oh, happy day when yeah. Jesus come." You know. When my Jesus. So we say, "Well, won't you?" Uh, matter of fact. You got a precept. Let me get to this one right quick before you bring that up. Right quick. Uh, Matthew ten. Yeah, that nigga from uh, Sister X singing that song. <laughs> la, 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 la. Get the hell out of here, nigga. Just say, uh, <laughs> say Matthew 10 and, and 34, man. And Christianity is going to lead all you people to death, man. That's all Christianity is leading the people to death, man. But this truth mm. leads the, uh, the brothers who the uh, most high through his son put the spirit on to everlasting salvation, man. All right? So this uh Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I come I come to send peace on earth, man. And this Yahweh Shah speaking, this in red letters in Matthew 10 and 34. So Yahweh Shah said he ain't come to send peace, but a sword, man. Alright, so that's con that's contrary to what Christianity teach, man. Alright, so you people should be uh, questioning your preachers, man. You should be questioning everything you've been taught, man. All right, I come not to send peace, but a sword, man. The Most High is coming to send destruction and chaos to the planet Earth, man. Not peace for His wickedness. All right, come. Cause the Most High is fed up, man. The Scripture said that your sins have reached into heaven, man. Talking about you Edomites, man. Yeah. And you people follow after Esau, man. Everything you people 